Welcome to SS2K channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button and hit all so that you will be updated regarding the latest updates. The content of this video is taken from available sources such as but not limited to the internet and the author of this video does not represent any person or organization which will be presented. This is presented for educational purposes only and yours truly do not claim the ownership of the uh, content. The uh, content of this video ladies and gentlemen is the continuation of the uh, part 5 of the uh, subject forensic ballistics so ito na po yung pang anim na part ng forensic ballistics okay so first question for this video uh, presentation when uh, a mechanism is so arranged that uh, uh, it will continuously uh, fire no or it will fire continuously while the trigger is depressed then such is called as Letter A, double action, B, single action, Charlie automatic, or uh, Delta is uh, Gatling. No? So if the mechanism is arranged, that it will fire continuously if the trigger is depressed, then such called as automatic uh, firearm no? or automatic mechanism. No? Pagka kinalabit mo yung gatilyo, diretso po na pinigamo, then it will continuously fire. That is called as automatic. Okay? Uh, double action naman, it is uh, usually used in revolver. Pero ngayon, meron na rin pong mga pistol na double action. No? Uh, pagka sinabi natin double action, if you will press the trigger, it will both cocks and releases the hammer. Okay? So isang kalabit ng gatilyo, yung pong hammer po'y maikakasa at maire-release din. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi mo na kailangang ikasa. Okay? Yan. Uh, pagka sa pistol naman, uh, meron na pong mga bagong uh, introduce or na-introduce na pistol na pagka kinalabit mo, automatic po na atras yung slide niya. Then, tsaka po kukuha ng bala, maglo-load na po. Then, automatic na rin po na mag -re release no? So, yun po yung double action pistol. Yan. Then, yung single action, it is uh, a mechanism wherein... Uh, if uh, the shooter will pull the trigger, then uh, it will only release the hammer. So, isang action nga lang naman. So, kailangan manually cock yung pong uh, single action. Kailangan ikinakasa po. No? Yan. Then, isang action lang. Dahil isang kalabit, palo lang. Yun po yung action niya. Okay? Then, uh, yung pong gatling or yung gatling gun, it is the first genuinely effective and rapid fire weapon. Okay, yan. At idagdag na rin natin dyan yung pong tinatawag na semi-automatic. Okay, so ano po yung semi-automatic? Isang kasahan lang, then as you press the trigger, no, kada kalabit mo, then meron pong tigi isang bala na lalabas. Pero isang beses mo lang ikakasa. Yun po yung tinatawag pong semi-automatic. Okay, pagka-automatic kasi pagka uh, prenes mode na dire-diretso yung trigger no if you will depress the trigger then it will continuously fire okay so sobrang bilis po noon no next uh, question po tayo a uh, type of uh, weapon designed to propel a uh, uh, projectile by means of compressed air is called as type of weapon which is designed to propel a projectile by means of compressed air is called letter A pump shotgun, Bravo shotgun, Charlie carbine, and Delta is air rifle. And the answer for this question is Delta. Yan po yung tinatawag pong uh, air rifle or yung tinatawag natin na air gun ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Yan. So, ano po ba yung pump shotgun? Uh, shotgun po yun na yung pong kanyang magazine ay tube. Okay, na kung saan kailangan mong i-pump okay, para uh, mag-load po ng bala. No? Para ma-chamber po yung bala. Okay? So, pump shotgun, it is also known as trombone. Ayan. Then, uh, shotgun, 
That is uh, a type of weapon which is uh, uh, capable of propelling multiple pellets no? or uh, wads in one shot or single shot. Okay, so multiple pellets. Pagka 12 gauge shotgun, meron tayong sham na pellets na pwedeng lumabas. Yan, either bird shot or buck shot kung tawagin. No? Uh, carbine, we have talked that in the previous discussion, no? As long as the rifle is uh, less than 22 inches, such is considered as uh, carbine. Okay? Next question. The part of the gun that was the basis for its name revolver. No? The part of the gun which uh, was the basis for its name revolver. Letter A, barrel, bravo trigger, charlie cylinder, And delta is chamber. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung part ng barrel na kung saan dito naman galing yung pong kanyang pangalan na uh, revolver? Okay? Yan po ay yung pong tinatawag po na uh, cylinder. Okay? Yan. Cylinder. Yung pong umiikot na nagsisilbi na uh, Nagsisilbing uh, chamber ng pong revolver ay yung pong cylinder. Kaya nga yung pong revolver is considered as uh, multi-chambered firearm. Okay? Kasi yung pong cylinder niya, yung po yung nagsisilbing chamber. Okay? Yan, multi-chambered firearm po yan. No? So, yun po ang dahilan bakit siya naging revolver. Why? Because as uh, you press the trigger, Then the uh, cylinder will uh, revolve or will turn. Okay? Kaya tinawag po siyang revolver. Yan. No? And next question po tayo. It is uh, the mechanism of firearm that withdraws the shell or cartridge case from the chamber is the Or is called the letter A, ejector, bravo, the trigger, charlie, the firing pin, or delta, the extractor. So, ano nga ba yung mechanism ng uh, firearm okay, na nagwi-withdraw ng shell or cartridge from the chamber sa mga semi-automatic at saka sa automatic uh, firearm, no? or kahit sa single shot. Okay? So uh, ito yung nagwi-withdraw, no? So yun po yung tinatawag na extractor, yan po ya uh, delta. Okay? Yan extract means uh, to get the cartridge case from the uh, chamber. Yan. Pagka nahatak po ng extractor yung pong cartridge case, pipitikin naman ng ejector. So ano naman yung ejector? Ejector is the mechanism of firearm which throw the uh, cartridge case that was withdrawn by the extractor. Okay, kasi pagka naiputok na, no? uh, then definitely, uh, i-extract po ng extractor yung pong cartridge case. Pagka naiangat niya konti, then pipitikin ng ejector palabas doon po sa chamber. Okay, para sa susunod na chambering. Okay, para susunod, yung bala na susunod, pupunta doon sa chamber. Diba? Yan. Then, uh, the trigger. No? Ano ba yung trigger? Siyempre, gatilyo. Kung tawagin natin sa ating uh, salita. Uh, it is the part of firearm which initiates the hammer or releases the uh, firing uh, pin. Okay, initiates the hammer. Ayan, para ma-release yung hammer, uh, kalabitin mo ngayon. No, kaya nire-release nito yung firing pin para sa mga hammerless firearm tulad ng uh, uh, yung bagong issue ngayon, okay? Ng uh, PNP, no? Yan. So, uh, yun po yung tinatawag na trigger, gatilyo po yan. Okay? So, ano naman yung part ng firearm which strikes the primer? Yung po yung pinakatiti ng firearm na pumapalo doon sa pinakapuki nung ay sorry for the word no pinakapuki nung uh, cartridge na kung tawagin po ay primer okay yan so kung titingnan niyo no napakaliit noon 
Pero yung po'y napaka-importanting part nung pong firearm. Kasi eh, konting, uh, uh, konting sira lang nun, then pwedeng mag ng misfire. Okay? Yan yung firing pin. Okay, next question. Is barrel is considered as a complete firearm? Is a barrel is considered as a complete firearm? Okay, letter A, no. B, yes. C, true. D, false. No? Oh, ang barrel ba considered as a complete firearm? The answer is yes. That is bravo. No? That is under Section 3 of Republic Act Number 10591, wherein uh, it defined uh, uh, the barrel, okay, and it defined the firearm, no, na kung saan nakalagay doon, na ang uh, ang uh, barrel ay considered as a complete firearm. At hindi lang yon, ayon sa Republic Act Number 10591. Yung frame or receiver is also considered as a complete firearm. So kung meron kang hawak-hawak na frame or receiver, then nahuli ka, then pwede kang kasuhan ng illegal possession of a firearm. Okay? Yan. So kung uh, tubo lang yung pong uh, hawak mo, then uh, meron po yung mechanism ng firearm, may firing pin sa likod, yung pong tinatawag na sumpak. Hindi naman pwedeng kasuhan ng illegal possession of tubo. No? Pagka sumpak, ang nahuli sa iyo, ayan pa rin ay violation ng Republic Act Number no. 10591 that is still illegal possession of firearm. Okay? Yan. Okay, next question. Ito naman po sa klase ng barrel, depende po sa kanilang na ipopropel nothing ga okay oh the firearm that propel projectiles that is more than one inch in diameter is called letter a musket bravo artillery charlie small arms and delta machine gun the firearm that uh, the propel projectile more than one inch in diameter is called the uh, artillery okay so ayon po sa classification no na kung saan sinasabi na ay, classification ito ng barrel ayon doon sa laki ng propel nito. O kapag uh, more than 1 inch in diameter, then that is considered as artillery. Pag 1 inch in below or below 1 inch, it is considered as small arms. Okay? <clears throat> so, yan po yung dalawang classification ng firearm. Depende doon po sa laki ng tingga or laki ng bala okay, na naipopropel nito yan then yung musket naman uh, yung po yung smooth bore muzzle loading firearm nga no? musket kaya sinabi natin smooth bore makinis yung loob muzzle loading sa bunga nga po or doon po sa pinakadulo sa muzzle uh, nang gagaling yung po nilolodan uh, or nilalagyan ng bala Kasi nga yung pong musket, yung po yung sinauna na uh, klase ng firearm, okay? Na kung saan uh, yan po ilalagyan mo muna ng uh, uh, pulbura. Pagkatapos nalagyan ng pulbura, lalagyan mo ngayon ng tingga. Pagkatapos nalagyan ng tingga, lalagyan mo ngayon ng mitsa. Pagka nalagyan mo ng mitsa, sisindihan mo ngayon yung mitsa para po pumutok. Okay? Yan. Meaning to say, yung pong barrel ginagamit lang para ma-direct yung pong uh, bullet. No? Yan yung pong musket. Then, small arms. It is a classification of firearm based on the uh, projectile that can be propelled wherein uh, if it is less than 1 inch in diameter or 1 inch in below, such is considered as uh, small arms. No? Then, machine gun. Ano ba ang machine gun? It is a rifle bore, rif uh, rifle bore firearm. It is you. Uh, it uses rifle ammunition and capable of fully automatic ladies and gentlemen no uh, ito ulit ulitin natin ano yung pong submachine gun ang ginagamit po noon ay yung pong uh, pistol ammunition okay yan kapag yung 9mm yung ginagamit yun naman po yung tinatawag na uzi okay Yan. 
na inintroduce nga ni uh, Uzi uh, Gal. Okay, yung pong machine gun, uh, yan po ay nagsimula kay Hiram Maxim, doon sa kanyang maximum machine gun. Okay? So, ayan lamang po yung pong ating tatalakayin sa video presentation na ito. Patuloy pong sumubaybay para sa mga susunod na discussion natin dito po sa subject na forensic ballistics. Thank you very much and God bless you all.